Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. How is everybody today? Mine has been really, really good. So for today, we are going to look for some fragments. There should be some close by. And yeah, everything looks fine and dandy in here. Let's go and dive. So, while I was um, busy, okay, I was not really busy. I was actually thinking about the new game called Below Zero, which should be launching. I don't know when. Still haven't heard any news about it. But what I was thinking about it is how is it going to be similar to this game? Because it's going to be technically be the same game, only on a different planet. Since we crash landed with the Aurora, our mothership, from outer space. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> the, yeah, the... Uh, According to the developers that Below Zero will be a planet full of ice. Now we are on a planet full of water, apparently. Although there is some lands and things close by. Which we saw in... Well, not really saw, but we know it's way over there and way over there. So I want to know from you guys. Do uh, you think uh, it's going to be like similar? The map terrains or the map or anything is going to be like... You have to go below... Uh, the same as like with here on Subnautica, go under the ice, I think. I think it, I think so. I think it's going to be definitely a possibility that you go under ice with different machinery and different tools and things. And so what I'm doing is I'm quickly looking for fragments. Now they should we are in the safe zone, so we should be able to find some really relatively close to us. But I'm thinking we're searching in the wrong place. Luckily we have the heads up display to show us where our drop pod is. So yeah, we have our giant coral over here. Okay, now, if I'm not mistaken, the terrain should drop down this way. Yeah, it does, but it ends up at that place and there's that shark tooth creatures. I don't want to deal with them. At all. We don't have... Well, we do have a knife, but... Why... <laughs> Me underwater with a knife? See, there's some... There's some stuffs. Underwater with a knife. I just came from space. You know? I just became a pro swimmer. I was a space guy. Now I'm a pro swimmer. Like what? Okay, so it can, it's telling us we can scan this. So let's quickly do it. Pick it up. We're gonna need it. And what's in here? <gasps> It's a sea glide fragment. Oh yeah, let's scan that baby. Mm -hmm. So we need one more. And for those who are wondering about how you get fragments and whatnot, around your safe zone, your uh, life pod, you should be able to find a couple of fragments. But it can only contain X amount of fragments. Now if you want different ones, you have to go out and explore a lot more. And I think if you load in a new area, it should spawn in new fragments. Oh, it's one of those fishies. They are actually very dangerous. They, they hate each other. They don't like sipping on each other's territory. So this is the part I wanted to come for, is over here. And our, we did, in the previous episode, upgrade our air supply, so it should be all fine and dandy to dive a little bit deeper. So let's just do that, you know? We go dip, uh, dip, dipping deeper. Deeper dip. Uh, what is that? I've never used these before. Grav traps. I know you trap stuff in them using gravity, but I've never actually used them. Let's see here. Nothing in there. Just keeping an eye on our oxygen. There we go, here's our sea glide fragment. Great stuff. I just want to see if there's any more things. Oh yeah, there's one of those, uh, what do you call it? Uh, time capsules. Well, that's really cool. No, 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 no. Okay, it's attacking fishies. It's not going to attack us. I think we smell bad or something. Just wait for it to swim away. We go check out that. Usually they contain really cool 
gears and things. Not gear. We are gear like what you wear. Let's grab this. Over here. Uh, over here, please. No, 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 no. Ow, ow. Okay, it did not hurt us that much, but it's coming back for a second round. Come on. There we go. Yeah, take that. That's a knife. That's what a knife does to you. Well, we did survive that. Man, a sea glide is gonna be so nice to have. Swimming around. I wanna check this out real quick. Open up time capsule. Time capsule, we will see from who it is. So these time capsules are when you complete the game, uh, you can send out a time capsule when you launch the rocket into space. Uh, not a spoiler alert. And then, somewhere in the world, across the world, it should spawn in somebody else's game. So let's see, data bank, time capsules, survived. Whenever you find yourself doubting how far you can go, just remember how far you've come. Remember everything you've faced, all the battles you've won, and all the fears you have overcome. Oh, that is so nice. That's really cool. And what did it give us? A couple of those, and a couple of those. Huh. That is really, really nice. Thank you, whoever that was. I wish they did include the names. I, th I thought it did. But apparently not. But that it's a, it's a great step forward. We are having some waters and extra foods. Which will keep our survivability way up. Okay, let's see over here. And another titanium. I want silver. We need silver. That's salt. Cut with the knife. Okay. Crypt find sample. Oh yes, and we can scan this as well. It's just extra information, I think. Yeah, it is. Nothing to... Mm. Nothing to worry about. So let's get back to the pod. And... See what we can craft. What else we need. I mean, it would be really great if we can get a base going. It would be so great. Just to get some storage and things going. Collecting more resources would be a breeze then. Especially with a sea glide. And yeah. We have to see if we can craft a sea glide as well. We need the correct amount of materials. And luckily this big coral reef should provide us with sufficient resources. So while we're... Busy working there. Let's listen to this message. Receiving pre recorded distress call. Laying back. This is Life Pod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now we have a new location to go to, but we need the sea glide to get there. So over here. So we need a battery, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. Over here is the battery, so we just need one copper ore and two acid mushrooms. Do we have any of those things? Uh, copper ore and two of those shrooms. There we go. Let's do that and that. Now we have our battery. Wait a minute, we have that sample, but what the hell does that do? Creep finds... Okay. Oh, right, let's quickly deconstruct that. And now we need that seeds for... Where's the lubricants? Basic materials. Okay, there we go. Lubricant. Okay, so it was that. I got confused between those two. Uh, seed cluster, we just need one. Did we, did, did we save one in here? No, we didn't. Uh, consume. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's gotta taste real good. Let's go ahead and put these things away. We don't need them. Yet. Okay. 
I'm trying to think. But we need to make the sea glide even more. Nope. Uh, now it's the copper wire. Copper wire should be here. Two copper ores. We only have one. Damn it! Now we have to go find some more. Which is fine. And we also need a wiring kit. Right? Uh, do. Just a lubricant. So we just need to go grab that seed cluster and... Uh, what was it again? Damn it! The copper and seed cluster. Let's go do that right now. Come on, baby. Daddy needs some um, copper. There we go. We struck gold. Okay, and now for the seed cluster stuffies. Uh, this way. Nope, this way. I'm just trying to align myself with the aurora. Like in relation to these two, the pod and the aurora. So I kind of have it mapped out of my head. I mean, I've been playing this game for, I don't know how long. I'm still amazed by it. It's still a freaking great, great game. And yeah, that's why I cannot wait for Below Zero to come out. I want to see what they've done with that. Hopefully it will launch very soon. And we can uh, indulge in that new world. See what the freezy depths of hell would give us. I'm just wondering about the monsters and stuff. Oh man, that's gonna be so great. Great game. Alright, let's just uh, head back real quick. And see. Uh, oh, we need air. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can complete it by now. But we have to make extra batteries. Yeah. We have to make extra batteries. Uh, I mean, the thing doesn't run on solar power. <laughs> okay, here we go. Back into the pod. And still no messages? No. Alright. Let's go and get ourselves some copper wire. Lubricant. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. And power plants. It sounds like she wanted to finish her sentence but cut off, got cut off. And there we go. Crafting a sea glide. Oh yeah. Sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Hmm. All right. Now this is amazing. Yeah, look at that. Now we can go even deeper very fast. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this. Go. And that was lead. Yee. Yeah, that was lead. That's so cool. Oh crap! Ooh. Ooh. That was close. Wow, that was close. Okay. Thirty seconds. And now we need to go get some air. <laughs> Real quick. Hey, look at all the eggs. Luckily, this thing is very fast. Oh, look at that burning wreckage. Yeah, so I'm glad we got this baby up and running. And this means we can go explore a little bit more. A lot more. Ah, I thought it was something. Uh, yeah. Just quickly checking out, see if we cannot get any silver. I know we need some silver, I just don't know how far deep you need it to go. I know yeah, the deeper you go, the more rare minerals and ore you will get, but I don't know how deep you need to go, like exactly how deep. So there is the next place we need to go, 303 meters that way. Reported the sea glide damaged. Ah, that's too bad, because I just got mine. And look, we got another message, but that will be for next time, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on Subnautica. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And leave a comment down below. 
you know where about what do you think about Blow Zero compared to this game. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.